Welcome, everybody, to my top 10 predictions for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're like a day away. We have this night to get through, all of tomorrow, and then Friday is finally here. Breath of the Wild will be in our hands and we'll be playing it. I am so excited. So today, I'm going to tell you all my top 10 predictions to do with Breath of the Wild. Number 10 is Link is a new hero. Many believe this Link could be a previous one who dies 100 years prior to the events of the game. However, I think he's a Link we have not seen in the previous game and he's totally new for this game. This is a theory that I've put out there before. A lot of people disagreed with me. I'm still sticking by it. A lot of people think this could be the Ocarina of Time Link that has been, you know, he, he loses the battle against Ganon and then resurrected. That's a really great theory. If that's true, I'll be super excited. But I think this Link is a brand new Link. We'll see him be like almost like a handmaid, you know, someone who's uh, a champion on the side of Princess Zelda 100 years ago. And then he falls when uh, the Calamity comes and then he is resurrected. I don't think it's a Link we have seen before. But that is kind of my theory and my prediction for number 10. Number 9 is the Sheikah will make a physical appearance. Now, we've seen their technology before. We've seen Imper in previous games. And we've seen members of the Sheikah tribe, but kind of before in like Twilight Princess and things like that. But I think we'll see many members of the Sheikah tribe in this game. We've heard that they've disappeared and they've gone from the land. I think we'll find them. And we'll learn more about the Guardians, the Shrines, and all this technology they left behind in Breath of the Wild. Number 8 is Beetle will sell useful items. This sounds like the most pointless prediction I could make, but I genuinely think this is actually kind of interesting. We've seen that Beetle, first seen in Wind Waker, he makes appearance in a few other games including Skyward Sword. He's back in this game, he walks around with a Beetle backpack on almost, it's very cool. Uh, he is going to sell out useful items. That's my thing. I think a lot of the other traveling merchants, you will sell things to them to get rupees and you'll be able to buy little materials for, and food and things like that. But I think Beetle, Beetle himself will sell more useful items like swords, shields, different things like that. Maybe even potions and cool things like that. He will be a key kind of guy to go and visit that I think will sell items you won't be able to find elsewhere, especially out in the world. Like, if you're adventuring in the world, you're going to have to go to towns to find a lot of these items. But Beetle, you will have the cool stuff. Number seven, you will have access to a musical instrument. While we haven't seen anything to prove or suggest this, we've seen a bard in the game, and I believe we might get a musical instrument too. But I don't think it will play as big as a part as, say, the Ocarina of Time. Or the Wind Waker, it will be something kind of more side questy or something like that. But I think we'll be able to play a musical instrument at some point in this game. I just don't think it's going to be as big and grand as even like the harp in Skyward Sword was. Number six, the classic Hylian Shield will be available. Now, I don't know if this is going to be something you find uh, or you can get from doing a certain side quest or doing a certain number of shrines or something like that, but I think. The classic shield will be in here. I don't think it will be indestructible like Skyward Sword, though. I think this is going to be like a normal shield, but it will be the classic design we've seen in, you know, from uh, Ocarina of Time to Twilight Princess, all that. The, you know, those, those kind of looking, it'll look just like that. Number five, Ganondorf will be referred to or seen in this game. And I'm talking about the human form of Ganon Ganondorf here. We were told in Ocarina of Time that the Gerudo male is born every hundred years. And this could be an important point in the story, as we've seen in the trailers, that this takes place 100 years after. And we've seen Gerudo in the game. So I think Ganondorf, if not referred to, like, in visual points, he'll be referred to in text. That's one of my predictions right there. Number four, we are in the Downfall timeline. Now, I'm still not firmly sure where in the Downfall timeline. I've done four timeline videos at this point, theories, discussions, and I think we're in the Downfall timeline. I think we're either at the very top or the very end, but I don't know where. And I think it's going to be very exciting to find out where we end up being. Uh, I'm very, very excited for that. I, when I'm doing my Let's Play, because it's going to be kind of blind and you know nothing will... We won't have seen any of it before. I'm going to be theorizing kind of on the fly in those videos. That's going to be very fun. Okay, so next. Number three, Calamity Ganon is our fault. Now, this is an interesting one. I think it's either because of the, something we did in a previous game, 
or something that happens in the story of the game. So either Calamity Ganon is because of something we as the player did in a previous game, we caused this calamity like hundreds of years later um, because of something we did to Ganon, or in the something happens in the story and we find out that it's either Link or Link and Zelda's fault why this calamity came. Okay, number two, the classic green tunic and hat will be available. Now, I've been thinking about this a lot recently, and I'm wondering if there are outfits in this game. We've seen some things with like Link having different hairstyles, and we've seen him wearing different outfits and armor. I wonder if they could include not only different tunics and different, like, so you maybe a red one, you know, for like the uh, the red, you know, Goron's tunic in Ocarina of Time. Maybe they're even going to include like some really crazy ones that we've even forgotten about and we can't really remember from other games. So, but I think the green tunic will be in here, possibly multiple versions of this green tunic as well. So we may end up seeing something like um, the classic green tunic from Ocarina of Time. Maybe we'll see one that looks more like uh, Twilight Princess. Maybe we'll see one that looks more like Skyward Sword, although they are fairly similar, those two. Maybe we'll see one that looks like, uh, like old classic Link. So like the, the yellow band and maybe like a darker hair color gets put on Link or something. Just a just an idea. And I mean that would be pretty cool, right? I uh, wonder if we, want, we could get one where he gets purple hair like in Link to the Past. <laughs> anyway, number one. My number one prediction is that Ganon will have multiple forms in the final battle. We've seen this evil cloud of malice, known as Calamity Ganon, for a while now, and I think due to the nature of what he's made out of in this game, he will alter forms freely throughout the final battle, maybe even creating an evil version of Link that you battle, like Dark Link style. Now I think this is this is something I want to see really bad, like almost like uh, the puppet Ganon fight in Wind Waker, where you he kind of changes as it goes on from this boar puppet to like a snake and so on. And we've seen Ganon take different forms before, like Ganondorf to Ganon and things like that. And I think it would be really cool if uh, we maybe even get to one point fighting Ganon where we have to climb him. He's this huge, monstrous being, almost Shadow of the Colossus-esque, where you have to climb him and, and hit him in certain ways. I think that would be super cool because we've already seen that we can climb enemies in this game. We've seen it from like Step Talus, and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to climb. <laughs> maybe we can hang on to the side of a Hinox or Henox while they're, they're you know, searching for us with their big eye and we can grab one and climb up and stuff like that. That would be really cool. And we've seen other really big enemies in this game that would suggest that we can climb onto them. So I think that maybe one of the forms Ganon might take at the end is this huge beast pig form and maybe we have to climb onto it. That would be super, super cool. What would be even more amazing is if whatever climate Ganon ends up being at the very end, he could be a very frail old version of Ganondorf that's just been, you know, taken over by this malice and that's the form we see at the very end. This weak old man. Ganondorf. That would be pretty crazy. Anyway, there's are my predictions. My theories kind of all merged into a predictions, and uh, hopefully you guys think that's interesting. You don't have to agree with them, but maybe we'll come back uh, after Breath of the Wild and see how many of these came true. Probably two of them. Which I, two, I don't know. Maybe Beetle will sell useful items. That's like the easy one I've just slipped in there. Oh man, I'd be surprised if, like, that isn't true, and I'd also be surprised if we don't see Sheikah, and I'd also be surprised if we're not in the downfall timeline. But, you know, they're, they're my predictions, so, you know, that's how it is. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Check back tomorrow for a pre-release hype video where I'm just going to be screaming for about 10 minutes. That's uh, going to be really fun. And then on Friday, I'm going to be doing a Switch unboxing video, followed by two episodes of Breath of the Wild for the foreseeable future. Two episodes a day for quite a while. So yeah, stay tuned for those, and I'm very, very excited to dive into Breath of the Wild very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys then.